we want to keep the main thing, the main thing. Today, I want to talk to you about the Bible, our authority. And I want you to think about every country has laws. Here in America, we have the Constitution, that long big word, that is the beginning of our laws. Uh, God gave Moses Ten Commandments. And uh, we know that that was God's plan for his children to have these commandments to help them. It was the authority for them. And today we have the Bible. The Bible is our authority today. It is the authority for the Christian, but it is also true for the person who doesn't believe. You see, this Bible has all truth here. And so it's truth, doesn't matter whether it's for the Christian or the person not saved. Here, uh, this Bible is our authority. And so I want you to think about what happens, what happens if a person does not agree with the Bible? What happens to them? If you don't agree, if you don't, if you disagree with the Bible, you are not going to be a happy person. We see many people around us today. They're not happy. Why? Because they disagree with the Bible. They're in conflict with the Bible. Jesus's words came to us straight from the heart of God. The other books, 66 books here in the Bible are authority. Why? Because we've already seen they came from the breath of God through men to us. And so uh, we understand these words have authority. Now, Jesus approved this book. Let me show you. Here in the New Testament book of John, chapter 12, verse 48, John chapter 12, verse 48 Jesus said, He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judges him. The person who rejects Jesus Christ doesn't receive his words. He said, There is something that judges you. What? Go on in the verse. It says, The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. I want to tell you today, Jesus Christ is the ultimate judge. He is the ultimate authority. He spoke the words that are here, and the Bible's filled with words from God. These are authority for us. These are serious words from Jesus in the Bible. And so I want you to see today, the main thing that I want you to see today is that the Bible is our authority. And so as you think about it, keep the Bible as your law. Keep the Bible as the rules you will follow. And keep the Bible as the main thing in your life.